Welcome to my YouTube channel. Our today's lesson is about solving algebraic equations. What is an equation? From the word equation, we get the word equal. And in mathematics, the symbol that represents equal is written like this. Therefore, meaning here on the left and here on the right are equal. That is, they are going to balance. For instance, if you have five mangoes on this side, we use equal sign. Meaning also the other side, there must be other five mangoes. Because this side that is the left and the right must balance. For example, given 3x plus 5x is equal to 56. Practically, it means that whatever is on the left, it's equal, that's why we're using equal sign for equation, equal to 56. That is 3x plus 5x is 56. And also this side is 56. Let's try to do it practically. Let's say we have a weighing scale. To represent this on a weight scale, the weight scale must be balanced because we are saying whatever is on the left is equal to whatever is on the right. x and here it's only one basket with 56 as you can see they are balanced none that is up or down they are balanced meaning this side and this side are equal now whatever is on this side we put it together and as you can see they are like terms so these two baskets when you put them together to become one basket there it's going to be something of this nature there is here there it will be a bag containing 3x plus 5x which is 8 x and here we still got to have one bag containing 56 now for us to remain with this x here as you can see now this is a number this is a number that is 8x is equals to 56 so whatever you have done whatever you are doing on the right you also did on the left so divide on both sides by 8 56 divided by 8 is 7 meaning there are seven x's, both here and there. Let's now represent our final answer. We have our x, and the x are how many number? They are eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. As the way they were here, that is three x plus five x was eight x. Also on the right hand side, our seven that we just got here after dividing on both sides is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times seven is 56. And by that, we have solved our equation. Now, let's now do more examples. In this question, we have been told, so for x. And as you can see, this 3x plus 8 is equal to 20. We are supposed to look for this x. In equation, we also need to adhere to the order of operation. But now, when you are there to order, to order of operation, we do a reverse or the opposite. Like in the body mass, when, to, when it comes to equations, we get the opposite. The opposite of division is multiplication. 
The opposite of multiplication is division. The opposite of addition is subtraction. And the opposite of subtraction is addition. What do I mean? We are looking for x. And as you can see, this number and this number are the like terms because they don't have letters attached to them. Therefore, we need to work out such a way that this 8 will come to the other side. Now, we are saying when it comes to equations, the sign we get is opposite. The opposite of addition is subtraction. So we subtract 8. And whatever you do on the left, you also do it on the right. So also you subtract 8. 8 take away 8, it's 0. And 20 take away 8, it's 12. Therefore, we are going to have, on the left, we are left with 3x is equals to 12. We want to be left with x here. And this x as a coefficient, that 3x. To do away with this number here, which is digit 3, we divide on both sides by this digit 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. 1 times x is x. 12 divided by 3 is 4. And by this, we have worked out the value of x, which is 4. So we have set for x, which is equals to 4. Let's get another example. T is here. Therefore, 3 and 24 are like terms. We take 3 to the other side by changing the sign. The opposite of subtraction is addition. So we add on both sides 3. Negative 3 plus 3 here, you get a 0. So 90 is equal to 24 plus 3, which is 27. Now, we have not yet gotten the value of t. We have 90. And the question says we want t, not 90. So how do I remain here with t? I do away with the 9 by dividing both sides with that 9. 9 divided by 9 is 1. 1 times t is t. 27 divided by 9 is 3. And now the value of t is 3. We have answered our question. Let's get another example. We are supposed to get the value of m. And the value of m... No, we are supposed to get the value of m. Therefore, we put like terms together. Remember here there is no other m. So we take this one to where there is another number. This is a number, this is a number. So we take it to the other side. And we are saying, when we take it to the other side, the sign changes now because we are getting the opposite of this sign. The opposite of taking away its addition. So we add on both sides 3. Negative 3 plus 3 is a 0. 9 plus 3 is equal to 12. Therefore, a fifth M is equal to 12. Now, here there is something new. In the previous examples, like here, it was 90. It wasn't a fraction. What we do in the case here, it's a fifth M. And remember, we don't want a fifth M. We just want the value of M alone. So how do we do away with this fraction? To do away with this fraction, we multiply by the reciprocal of that fraction of both sides. In our previous lesson, we had learned about reciprocal. Reciprocal of a fraction is we are switching the numerator to become the denominator and the denominator to become the numerator. So we multiply by the reciprocal of a fifth is 5 over 1. Whatever you have done on this side, you also do on the other side, times 5 over 1. Therefore, 1 times m is m, and 12 times 5 is 60. And now the value of m is 60. As you can see here, no number here. Let's do our next example. As you can see in this question, we're supposed to come up with the value of m. But here, there is brackets. So here we apply body mass, there is brackets first. So... We remove the brackets before solving for anything. 3 times n is 3n plus 3 times 2, which is 6n. This 3 should multiply everything inside here. So 3n plus 6n is equals to 9n, which is equals to 18. Now let's get the value of n here. So we don't want 9n, we want n. 
So to do away with this 9, it's a whole number, you divide both sides by that 9. 1n, which is n, 18 divided by 9 is 2. And the value of our n is 2. Let's get our last example. In this question, we are supposed to solve for the value of q. q divided by 4 is equal to 6. 4 and 6 are like terms. The, div the opposite of division is multiplication. So here, we take this 4 to the other side and the sign changes to, from division to... So q is equal to 6 times 4, which is 24. And the answer is 24. I wish you the best. And kindly remember to subscribe share and also leave a comment also practice remember practice makes perfect